The upper chamber began plenary with the announcement of appointments of Senate minority leaders in replacement of two lawmakers sacked by the appellate court in October. 41 signatories here saying that they have a temporary replacement for the minority leader of the Senate. I therefore have the privilege to announce that the senior Senator Abba Moro be moved forward as a minority leader of the Senate. There was, however, an uproar from the Labour Party when he announced PDP Senator Osita Angu representing Enugu West as the Senate Minority Whip as replacement for Labour Party Senator Darlington Mukocha. We have four seats for minorities in this Senate and a PDP will take three of the seats. The next party is Labour Party with seven senators and we get nothing. That is unfair, that is unjust, that is inevitable, and is against the spirit of Nigeria. There were more outbursts as another member of the Labour Party threw caution to the wind. Shouts of order went unheeded before calm was restored. You need to know that all you need to produce a leader is majority. If you are like 48 or 49 and 41 people have signed for Abamoro, what is the reason why you say the Senate President should not announce? I just want to plead with my colleagues to understand that my job here is not to take individual opinions or to work on the basis of what is convenient to you, but to work on the basis of truth. Meanwhile, the Senate has urged the federal government to immortalize the designer of Nigeria's national flag, Pa Taiwo Akinkumi, who passed on October 29, 2023. The lawmakers, after the motion moved by Senator Sharafuddin Abiodun representing Oyo South, observed a minute silence urging the federal government to conduct a state burial in his honor for his befitting role in the design of the national flag. Earlier, the Senate dissolved into the Committee of the Hall to consider the report of FIRMA. Subsequently, the lawmakers approved the appointment of engineer Chukwemeka Abasi as managing director of FIRMA, as well as nine others as members of the agency. From the National Assembly, Gloria Omezuke, Channels Television News.